Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the last of my Bath & Body Works summer SAS hauls. So I figured I would just do my giant haul. This has been collected over the last couple of weeks as things have gotten marked down throughout the sale. So now everything is pretty much 75% off and today, Friday, they even marked down 75% off candles from like the summer new releases. It's not everything that they had previous. They still have some 50% so I'm wondering if those are gonna go lower because I would definitely buy all the stock of pink watermelon and wild berry jam donut but those are still half off but they had some really good 75% off candles today in store they even popped up online which is nuts they've really never done that before this sale has been crazy I've never seen so much 75% off like in stores and online so the sale is gonna be ending like any time now they might keep their stock until it sells out but it doesn't usually go lower than 75 but yeah, fall is going to be set um, officially in most stores Sunday and Monday. So if you're wanting any of the fall goodies, I saw they are online. I also did kind of my review of the new fall scents over on my channel here. I did a whole kind of overview of everything, but I'm definitely planning to go to the store Monday. I'll probably film a fall haul, and I'm hoping they have some Halloween in store as well. But let's get into the last of my semi-annual sale finds. So I have just been loving fresh, clean scents for my shower gels. Um, that's kind of what I've been going for. And then like for everyday wear, I like my sweet gourmands. But in the shower, I don't know what it is. I just want to smell clean, especially when I do a night shower. Then you're just like so fresh and clean before bed. But I picked up two beachfront blanket shower gels at 75% off. Such a good one. Literally smells like fresh laundry, dryer sheets. It is delicious. The notes are fresh white linen, summer sun rays, and soft musk. Also grabbed a coastal hydrangeas in the shower gel. Another one I think I'm going to love in the shower because it's really fresh and clean. I've just been loving this scent in general. It's really nice. So this one has notes of fresh hydrangeas, ocean mist, and golden apple. This smell smells so similar to the Giorgio Armani Aqua de Joya. I feel like it's a dupe for it at such a cheap price, like three bucks. You really can't go wrong. So I'm really loving the Coastal Hydrangeas. I should have got, I think, one more spray because I kind of want to back up. I think one of my stores has a couple left, so I might have to go back for that. But just loving that scent. Um, I also finally got it in the body cream as well. I also picked up a, another body cream in Twinkling Nights. So I wanted this to go with my spray. I also have it in the lotion, but again, I just never reach for the lotion. I'm always reaching for a body cream because I feel like the scent is stronger. I just wish they could last like a few years, you know, instead of just one. This is such a beautiful scent. The notes are frosted jasmine petals with vanilla and uh, mandarin blossom. I just love this. It's a really nice, just like sophisticated scent. It smells like a perfume, not like a body mist. Um, it just smells like more grown up, but also sweet. It's not like a foodie scent though. So loving the Twinkling Nights. They also kind of clearance like all of their body creams, the old formula. And this is one of my favorite scents from the Signature Collection in the stars. So this is the only thing they had on a sale. But this scent, it's probably my favorite signature scent. I just love it so much because to me, I know some people disagree, but this reminds me a lot of the Ariana Grande Cloud or Baccarat Rouge 540, which is a really expensive perfume. It's one of my favorites. So I, whenever someone is wearing this or Cloud, I can never tell the difference. So I did pick up another one of these. It is just so good. I don't even know how to describe it. I think it's the sandalwood that gives it this very unique scent, but it also is a little bit sweet. The notes are starflower, sandalwood musk, sugared tangelo, white agarwood, and radiant amber. Such a beautiful scent. So I grabbed that in the body cream. I also finally picked up a backup of my Belize shower gel. I love this one in the shower gel. It's a great scent in general, but if you really want to get a powerful banana note, the shower gel definitely has a stronger banana note than the rest of the other products. The other ones smell like sunscreen mixed with banana, which I love it because I love banana, but the shower gel is definitely my favorite in that one. So I'm almost gone with mine, so I figured I would grab another one. The notes are banana daiquiri, juicy pineapple, and golden sands. 
I'm also really crazy about champagne sprinkles, so I grabbed another backup. So this is, I think, the only thing I have actually two backups of, but I feel like I'm going to go through this because it is seriously one of my favorite scents of all time from Bath & Body Works. I need to do one of those videos, like my top 10 scents. Uh, it's so delicious. It's like a raspberry cake. It's so yummy. Um, the notes are sparkling champagne, raspberry icing, and rainbow sprinkles, and it is just divine. I also got a backup of Boardwalk Taffy. I was hoping to find more cotton candy clouds. They're very similar, but I do think the cotton candy clouds maybe be a, might be a little bit stronger, but I figured I would grab another Boardwalk Taffy because in case this doesn't come back, I really love this one as well. It's like a cotton candy scent, and I would be so sad to not have a backup. So I do have a backup mist because I just wear this one so much. Mm, it just makes me happy. I love it. This one and the champagne sprinkles, some of my top two in my collection. And then my other store actually had a ton of confetti cake pop lotions last week, which I was really surprised. So I grabbed that one as another backup. I think I have like two backups now. It's fine because this is such a popular scent and I don't want to be without it. Although I personally feel like this is so similar. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree with me. But Confetti Cake Pop, Merry Cookie, and Coconut Cream Pie, they all smell so stinking similar to me. I'm always like, I really want to get a Confetti Cake Pop Mist on Mercari, but they're like $40 on there. But I'm like, I can just use my Coconut Cream Pie. Maybe Christmas cookies will come out again. I feel like they're so similar. What are your guys' thoughts on that? But I did go ahead and grab a lotion because I know I'll be able to keep that in my collection for a decent amount of time. Okay, this was another awesome find for me. I never really found much 75% off colognes or perfumes the sale. Um, I kind of missed the mark. I should have just got them and did the price adjustment. But I picked this one up for my husband because I saw it randomly on the 75% off table. This is the Coast Cologne. And I am so happy about this because it smells incredible. My favorite cologne on him is the YSL Y. This reminds me so much of the YSL. They really make some great cologne. So getting this for like, I think it was like 10 bucks. It's seriously a steal. It's like $40 normally, 50 bucks. So I did grab that. The Coast smells amazing. I did not see any other colognes. Um, 75 other people must have grabbed them before me. Okay, so I found one of my bags. I was like, I know I have more stuff. Where is it? It was in my uh, entryway. But I actually did end up buying another Coastal Hydrangea. So I did get a backup. Super happy about that. I don't usually buy many backups, but I feel like now I've been using my body care a lot more. And I feel like this SAS, there's just so many scents that I was absolutely in love with which doesn't happen very often and when you can get it for three dollars it's just really hard to pass up I also got a backup of bonfire bash because this one finally went 75 this is one of my faves again <laughs> another really sweet scent it reminds me of marshmallow fireside candle which has that like slight smoky vanilla ness to it so I did get a backup spray these are the fun ones with the sparkly lids Notes are vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk, and then I grabbed a lotion as well. Kind of wishing I grabbed a body cream too, but it's okay. Then I also grabbed this body cream that was 75% off, the You're the One. This is such a good scent from Bath & Body Works. At first, last year when they got it in, I wasn't like super impressed, but now I can't get enough. Like this is seriously one of the longest lasting scents that Bath & Body Works has ever done. It smells like a legit perfume. It's more like heavy on the rose but it has a slight sweetness to it with the strawberry that is in the fragrance. It is white birch velvety rose and a drop of strawberry. Like it's literally just a slight bit of that strawberry nectar but I don't know what it is but this scent seriously lasts all day. If you want something long lasting definitely get You're the One. So they clearance that because they have a new formula coming out for the body cream. And then I did grab this Firecracker Pop Shower Gel. It's like a nice cherry popsicle type of scent. It's really beautiful. So I picked that one up. Okay, so I think that is all the body care. Let me show you guys all of the 75% of candles I got because it's quite a bit. So the first round of candles I actually found a couple weeks ago. One of my stores randomly put them out. They were not there the first day of the sale, but like the second week they had 75% off like Christmas and like older spring ones. So I got a few. The first one is the Watermelon Lemonade. This one is a classic from them that they always come out with. 
beautiful for spring and summer. You get that juicy watermelon with the lemonade um, kind of mixed in there. I do prefer the pink watermelon candle, but since this one was super cheap, I did go ahead and pick it up. The notes are watermelon ice, sparkling water, and Meyer lemon. I also found this fresh balsam. I actually really like the plain packaging on this one, so I figured I would go ahead and grab this one. I know this one is at the sale a lot because you really only need like one a year. It's not a candle that I like, stock up on, but I figured since I am going to probably buy one this year, I'll just get this discounted one instead and have my fresh balsam candle. I always burn this one when I'm decorating for Christmas because it smells just like a Christmas tree. The wax is so pretty too. So this one has notes of woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, and fir branches. And then I also found a strawberry pound cake, a 75% off candle. I really like the packaging on this one too. I feel like this one might have been from last year's summer collection or spring, and that's why it was 75. But it is stunning. It smells exactly like the body care. These actually smell a lot like in the candle. Those, um, do you remember like those cream savers that were kind of like a strawberry flavor? That's what that reminds me of a lot. And then I also got the crushed candy cane as well. So this is another one. I always either burn twisted peppermint or crushed candy cane. Look at that pink wax though in the holiday. So now I don't have to buy one for this year with the new packaging. So the notes on this one are crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, and frosted mint leaf. Such a good one if you guys just want like a pure candy cane scent. This is one of their strongest candles. And then today's candle haul. These are like the newer ones. Yeah, I would run to your store if you're wanting to find these. They should have a whole 75% off table if no one cleared the table. I tried to only get one of each scent. And these are mostly the ones with no lids, so that's probably why they went 75 and the other ones didn't. But this one is the Lemon Cello. I've been loving the, I think it's a, a lemonade scent that came out with earlier this year. I burned that one a lot in the kitchen, so I figured I would really like this one too. Can't beat it for six bucks. So the notes are Sorrento Lemons, Cane Sugar, and Lemon Zest. Yum. It literally just smells like more of a clean lemon. So definitely something I would probably burn when I'm cleaning the house. Also got the Black Cherry Fruit Pop as well. This was one of the newer ones they came out with for SAS. The notes are frozen black cherries, pineapple juice, sweet cherries. Why is there cherries in there twice? And a hint of vanilla. This one is really light on the scent throw. Kind of similar to Firecracker Pop, so I figured I would get it. We'll see how it is. This one, I think this is the one that was on the 75% off table, but it was actually full price, but she gave it to me, the 75, because they had like 10 of them on that table. It's the Hibiscus Waterfalls. It has tropical hibiscus, sweet peach nectar, and fresh waterfall mist. This one is so fresh. Again, this one smells really like um, a fresh laundry. But it's light. Like, it's not as strong as, like, Beachfront Blanket, Body Care. It's a lighter version. But overall, I really like the scent of it. I also grabbed the Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint. We all need some stress relief on our lives. So I figured if I'm just having a day, maybe I just need a spa day, take a bath, burn this Stress Relief Candle, and everything will be amazing. But this is such a good one. Um, if you guys like the aromatherapy, I feel like this one's pretty popular. It must have just went on clearance because of the no lid situation. But the notes are fresh eucalyptus, sweet spearmint, lemon peel, and clary sage. And yeah, it's really that fresh spa type of scent. I also picked up the eucalyptus rain, which looks like this. This one has notes of... Aromatic eucalyptus, spearmint leaves, and fresh spring rain. I'm loving all these fresh scents. I always buy like the food ones, so this is definitely different for me. But I've been loving it in the home. This is nice, but it's super light again. But I almost get like this light perfume aspect with it. I also grabbed a backup mint chocolate chip milkshake. This one's my favorite of the new summer candles. Literally smells like what it is, mint ice cream. So yum. I need to burn this one. I did hear that this one is a strong performer. The notes are vanilla mint ice cream, chunky chocolate chips, and whipped cream. And last but not least, I grabbed the cactus blossom as well. I'm wondering how in the world I'm going to store these candles without the lids. I guess I probably honestly have some lids lying around. I'll just have to save some of my burned candles. But yes, cactus blossom. This is a classic scent from Bath and Body Works. They also had rose water and ivy. 
but I did not pick that one up because I'm pretty sure I already got that earlier in the sale, but I love Cactus Blossom in the candle. It's delicious. I used to really like the body care too, but I kind of just grew out of it, I feel like, and got tired of it, but I love it for the home. The notes are Cactus Flower Petal, Sunkissed Coconut Vanilla, and Sparkling Lemon. It's really beautiful. A beautiful, sweet, kind of floral. So I think that is everything from my semi-annual sale, the last SIS haul of summer. I definitely did a lot more damage than usual, but I've just been really, really into body care lately. Like, that has been my obsession. I still love makeup, but body care and fragrance has just, like, taken over. I don't know what has happened, but... Um, I've really been going through things very really fast and just really enjoying picking out my scent for the day It's like it brings me so much joy in the mornings. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys